Street, you are here at two to two and a half percent, and the president and the optimists are up there. Let's go to consumption, 70 percent of GDP. How does a consumer uh, bridge this gap between President Trump and Kamal Sri Kumar? The basic problem with consumption, which, as you said, is two to more than two-thirds of total GDP, uh, Tom, is affected by the fact that wages have not been increasing significantly since the financial crisis. The stock market has been surging, but low-income right. and middle-income mm -hmm. groups are not participating in it. Russ, so, is, is the market... Well, I want to come back to this, Kamal. Is the market, Russ, pricing in President Trump's 3% plus GDP? No, they're not. And I, and I think really? to some extent... You know, the question about GDP and markets is exaggerated. Markets have done very well with sluggish GDP. Right. They've done very well with strong GDP. It's not the biggest determinant what GDP print will be this year. Right, but Russ, this was, you know, with a commutative monetary policy. Isn't 2018 different if we have hikes? Well, I think it is different if you have hikes, but you also have to keep into, take into account the overall financial market conditions. Again, there were hikes in 2017, Great year for stocks, mediocre year for growth. Why? Part of the reason, in addition to the, the surge in earnings, was that overall financial market conditions, not just rates, but taking into account the dollar, credit spreads, they were incredibly easy. And that, again, created an environment where regardless of what the Fed did, you had easy monetary conditions supporting valuations. Francine, I would agree yeah, but this with is Russ. A, yeah, sorry, Shri. Sorry, uh, I would agree with Russ on that. The big increase in earnings what happened with the stock market is largely <coughs> 2017 a result of easy monetary conditions. The problem is, if you start to tighten them, you do not have the benefit of that. And even with the easy monetary conditions, we did not have the 3% growth in the last several years. Why are you going to have it with tightening monetary conditions to follow in 2018 and 2019, assuming the Fed does hike? You don't think it'll hike, Shri? I don't think they're going to hike three times at all. I think the two to 10 year spread on the US treasuries, which I consider to be a very important indicator, last Friday, six days ago, we reached a more than 10 year low of below 49 basis points. It is suggesting economic growth slowing down. And if, it, if that gap narrows even more in the days to come, I would be talking about inversion by the middle of the year. And that doesn't tell me that growth is going to pick up, Francine.